I, I want to thank Jesse for those kind words and uh, give you an update on the game. Uh, no, our, not that one. Our game. Uh, we're up by two touchdowns, and it's midway through the fourth quarter. gets the most dangerous. This is when you cannot let up. This is when you have to stay focused. This is when you work the hardest to make sure you bring this victory home. And, you know, we, we may be in the lead, but we have to make sure we protect the lead. And we're going to stay out, stay focused, and keep fighting for it. Now, I, I couldn't believe my good fortune. I'm not going to talk very long because I know you didn't come to see me today. <laughs> uh, the good fortune to, to have Franco Harris here with us. And it's, it's all the more impressive because Mr. Harris is a good Democrat who supported Democratic candidates. I mean, this is something that's <laughs> and, and we know, you know, that there are other Steelers involved in the race uh, around the state. <laughs> but, but, but we have this one. You know, and this, this, this couldn't be better. But folks, we are doing well because our message is resonating, not just with Democrats, but with Republicans and independents alike. This race is not about D versus R. This race is about good government, about doing the right things. It's about bringing change. No matter where we go across this district, you know, a district is roughly the size of Connecticut, people tell me the same thing. We want a change of direction. We want representation that represents our values. We want somebody we can be proud of. We want somebody that's going to be a strong, independent voice for us in Washington. And I promise that will be me when we're there. We're going to see a big change in direction uh, from, from the representation you're used to now. We're not going to be rubber stamping everything that the administration wants, certainly. And what we've had, unfortunately, over the last several years is a Congress that has basically acted like the legislative arm of the executive branch. It has not been an independent entity. It has not fulfilled its oversight role. It's not fulfilled its accountability role on the executive branch. We're going to restore accountability uh, back to Congress once we once we get down there. And it's, it's something that is needed. You know, I, I'm very thrilled by the lead we have. I'm very thrilled by the support that, that we're continuing to gather. But we have to bring this home. And, you know, we will take it to the House. But when I talk about taking it to the House, there is no one who took it to the House better than our guest, Frank O'Neill.